this is not the health care bill you're looking for. This is not the health care bill you're looking for. Did I, did I pull off the Obi-Wan? I'm trying to look wise here. We're back. Mike Summers, ChangeForPlay.com, Gorilla Mindset. Quick summary of what happened today. Quick summary of what happened today. Why this was a big win. Why this was a big win. I'll tell you why. Hold on. For those of you just coming in, you missed it. You missed it. This is not the health care bill. Hold on. we got to block everybody, whoever talks about audio quality. All right, you ready? This is not the health care bill you're looking for. This is not the health care bill you're looking for. All right, so here's the deal, bros. This was a big win for Donald Trump. Donald Trump is getting even with Paul Ryan and Ryan Care. Anybody who tells me Donald Trump supported Ryan Care, you have to leave right now. You can't watch me because you've never read my books. Donald Trump wanted to get revenge. Today was Donald Trump's revenge. DJT got revenge. Read Think Big and Kick Ass, which I also reviewed at DangerPlay.com, Gorilla Mindset, and maybe Medium.com, forward slash at C-E-R-N-O-V-I-C-H. Always get even because it feels good and other people are watching, right? This is a direct quote, paraphrased. Always get even because it feels good and other people are watching. This bill was not called Trump Care. Trump didn't want his name on the bill. Trump did everything he could to make it look like, to people who don't understand 40 chess, to make it look like he supported the bill, but they didn't know. The same MFers who said Donald Trump had a 3% ceiling are now saying Trump had his first legislative setback. The NY Times, which is owned by Carlos Slim, who's a Mexican monopolist, and paid for favorable press coverage and got a gag order essentially from the New York Times, they're saying Trump had a legislative setback. How? How? How did Trump have a legislative setback? Paul Ryan was the big loser here. Paul Ryan. Paul Ryan is the big loser. Trump didn't lose anything. Paul Ryan. And yep, I predicted it. Of course I did. That's the whole thing that cracks me up. The whole thing that cracks me up is that when Donald Trump was elected president, do you know what people asked me? You know what the number one question people ask me when Donald Trump was elected president? Go ahead and see if you can guess. It's a fun little pop quiz. The number one question people ask me when Donald Trump was elected president. They go, Mike, this was the number one question people asked me after Trump won. They go, Mike, you must be getting calls from the media all day. Did you know it's close? People go, Mike, I bet you your phone is ringing off the hook. I bet you CNN is calling you. I bet you MSNBC, Fox. I bet you your phone is ringing off the hook because the media wants to know how you knew Trump was going to win and how you knew who he was going to win July 2015. And I go, <laughs> I go, man, you got a lot to learn. Let me red pill you. I got zero calls from the media. Zero I got zero calls from the fake news media saying, hey, Cernovich, how is it that you were able to predict Trump would win when nobody else did? You were able to explain how he won step by step, and you wrote a book about it and published it before the election. My phone should have been blown off the hook. Of course it wasn't. The same people who didn't predict Trump would win, moreover said Trump was going to lose, they are now saying Trump lost. This legislative, uh, this legislative thing was a defeat. They're idiots. They don't know anything. Listen to Mike Cernovich, DangerInPlay.com, Gorilla Mindset. I've been right about everything, right? So I'm telling you what happened today was a big win for Trump, and I'm going to game theory it out. If I could get a little whiteboard, you know, I could be real fancy. I would be like, game theory this out. Game theory this out. What does Trump need to build the wall? Or allow me to rephrase that question. What does Trump need to happen in order for the wall to be built? Who has to be moved off the chessboard? Could Trump build the wall with Paul Ryan as Speaker of the House of Representatives? If Paul Ryan is the Speaker of the House of Representatives, will the wall be built? Yes or no? If Paul Ryan is Speaker of the House of Representatives, will the wall be built? 
Yes or no? There is only one answer to this that is correct. There is only one correct answer. No, we got to get rid of Paul Ryan or the wall will never be built. What was Trump's number one most memorable campaign promise? Build the wall. 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 But you can't build the wall if you got Paul Ryan as Speaker of the House. How do you get Paul Ryan out of Speaker of the House? How do you get rid of Paul Ryan? You set him up for failure. Hey, Paul Ryan, go ahead and give me this Ryan Care bill. Go ahead and give me this Ryan Care bill. Go ahead. Dumb at Paul Ryan is incompetent. He's a globalist crony. The only reason he's Speaker of the House is because people have blackmail material on him that makes him easy to control. Deep State has a blackmail file this thick on Paul Ryan. And I'm not going to get into what that blackmail file includes, but if you really think about it and think about what other Republican Speakers of the House, Dennis Hastert gave Paul Ryan $25,000. Do you guys want to fact check this in real time? Did pedophile Dennis Hastert give $25,000 to Paul Ryan? Fact check it in live, real time. Cerno check, fact check. Did pedophile Dennis Hastert give $25,000 to Paul Ryan? Fact check that shit for me, homie. Fact check for it, homie. Hush money? Fact check it, motherfucker. I don't cuss anymore, Syrah. She's not here, but I still got to quit cussing. Fact check it. Did pedophile Dennis Haster give $25,000 to Paul Ryan? Fact check it, bros, cuties. 100% he did. So we now know that Paul Ryan takes money from pedophiles. Fact. Fact check it. Paul Ryan, fact, takes money from pedophiles. Okay? There you go. So what does Deep State have on... What does Deep State have on Paul Ryan? Just again, just think about it. Think it through. Must be really bad CD kind of stuff on him. Makes you wonder what Ben Sass, what they have on him too. Ben Sass was a tutor for the Congressional Page Program. Go ahead and look into that Congressional Page Program. Ben Sass was a tutor. A tutor of the Congressional Page Program. Go ahead and, and you know, think that one through. Right? The biggest candidate or the biggest people going against going against Trump, Ben Sass, who was a tutor, the page program, which he won't talk about ever. Ask him about it. Ask Ben Sass about how he tutored tutored the congressional page program, which which Dennis Hastert used the congressional page program as his own pipeline for his pedophilia acts and his little boy toys. Right? Go ahead and ask him. Go ahead and say, hey Sass. What happened with Dennis Hastert and the congressional pages? Go ahead and ask him. Right? He won't answer you. He won't answer you, that's for sure. Go ahead and ask Paul Ryan why he took $25,000 from pedophile Dennis Hastert. This is all facts, guys. I'm not making anything up. You can go ahead and do your own research. Fact check everything that I've said. Ben Sass, congressional page program, Dennis Hastert, Speaker of the House. Dennis Hastert giving money to Paul Ryan. These are all facts, right? But the media is not going to report on this. The media is not going to talk about this. So what happened? Let me tell you a little bit about optics. So this is game theory. Game theory. True or false? True or false? Fact check me in real time. Cerno quiz, pop quiz. True or false? Any healthcare bill is going to lead to human suffering. True or false? Any health care bill is going to lead to human suffering. You're going to have people who lose coverage. You're going, to, you're going to have people who don't get proper medical care. You're going to have people who can't afford insurance. Okay. Do you want your name associated with a bill that is going to lead to human suffering? Optics. Right now we're going deep. Fake news media doesn't even understand it. That's why they said Trump would never win the election loss today. So, so we're building it up. This is how analytical thinkers and great minds analyze the world. This is why people come to me for news and information you can't get anywhere else. Will any health care bill lead to human suffering? Yes. Do you want your name anywhere near a bill that is going to lead to human suffering? No. So that's your decision tree. 
If you've ever run a business and you've done strategic thinking, you create what's called the decision tree. Well, what happens if you make that choice? What happens if you make that choice? If Trump puts his name on any health care reform bill, Trump's name is now going to be associated with human suffering, with people losing their health care, with people not covered, with treatments not being covered, with sick women, orphans, children. That's what his name is going to be. So the decision tree is, do you want your name associated with that? No, you don't. So what has to happen? Well, what has to happen is Obamacare is failing. The media has covered up the Obamacare failings, but the Obamacare is failing. you got to let it fail. Once you let Obamacare fail, then you can step in and be the white knight and create something because now you just have ashes. Now you have nothing. So then you can actually create something good or at least something you know passable. Right. So this is all, again, you won't see this anywhere else. The fake media, they can't think. They're not intelligent people. They don't read. They weren't philosophy majors like I was. They don't have my law degree, which you don't need a law degree, but I'm learned in the law, legal scholar, produce films, write books. Fake news, they can't figure this stuff out. No strategic thinking ability. That's why when they try to ambush me in their little dumb interviews or try to attack me, that's why the media loses every time they go after me. Because they don't have strategic thinking. A strategic thinker would never want to do would never want to do a hit piece on me because they would know you're going to lose. You might think you're ambushing me, but I'm really ambushing you. A lot of Trump haters, why are the Trump haters here? Because David Brock in Media Matters and Correct the Record hired people to troll me. David Brock also had a heart attack. Go ahead and go ahead and see, you know, if they're connected. David Brock hired people from Correct the Record to troll me. And to try to cause stress to my life, to lie about me, to endanger my safety and the safety of my family. And David Brock had a heart attack. So you can just wonder if those are connected. Maybe, you know, who knows? I don't, I don't know. But he definitely had a heart attack. And he had definitely attacked me. So Trump won today. He won bigly. The fake news doesn't understand it. The fake news is never going to understand what happened. It isn't even, that's why they call it Trump, so we have to block you for being it those. Trump care. It's not called Trump care. It's called Ryan care. Think about it. In life, look not only at what is called, but what is not called. It's not called Trump care. It's called Ryan care. Show me where Trump called it Trump care. Go ahead. Go ahead and fact check me in real time. Show me where Trump is at a rally saying, I need you to support Trump care. I need the people to get behind Trump care. Go ahead and show me that. All right, show me. Go ahead. Go ahead, smart people. David Brock shills, correct the record trolls, fake news media sock puppet accounts, Media Matters, Daily Beast, Business Insider, New York Times, Washington Post, Boston Globe, all these people that hate on me with your little sock puppet accounts. Show me. You can't. You lost. You're a loser. You're desperate. It is Ryan Care. Ryan Care failed. And this was a really big, 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 big success for Trump. Because now we can get Ryan out. We're getting Ryan out of the speaker position. We have to I don't know that we can beat him in an election. Paul Nealon, as much as I like Paul Nealon, I don't I don't know that Paul Nealon's gonna be able to take Ryan out of the Congress totally. But we can get rid of Paul Ryan as Speaker of the House, which we must do. So what we have to do, what we have to do is we have to remind Trump something very important. And before we do that, before we do that, you got to know there are three camps in Trump's Trump land. Camp A, Don Jr., Stephen Miller, Steve Bannon, Kellyanne, Sheriff Clark, the people who really are in touch with the people and understand. Team B, Rents Priebus, Paul Ryan, Mitt Romney, the saboteurs, the people giving him bad advice to destroy him. The other team, Ivanka, Jared Kushner, who are, they want what's best for Trump, they're not saboteurs, but they hang out with people in D.C., the elite, and the elite feeds them lies. So Ivanka and Kushner don't realize how powerful Trump is. So Ivanka and Trump are trying to give advice to him. Hey, Dad, you know, think about this. It's like, no, Ivanka, 
you talk to the people who didn't get Trump elected. You're talking to people who actively tried to sabotage Trump, right? Why don't you talk to Don Jr.? Those guys know. So Kushner, Jared Kushner and Ivanka, they want what's best for Trump, but they talk too much to the chattering class, the cocktail class, the wine class in D.C. So what, what is the message? The message is that the GOP belongs to Donald Trump now. The GOP is Trump. This is a Trump Republican Party. No question about it. Anybody giving Trump advice, they don't even know because they didn't even think Trump was going to win. Fake news, they don't even, they still don't understand the game. They don't understand that today was a massive defeat for Ryan. For Trump, it's an easy comeback. Here's an easy comeback for Trump. Think about it. Decision tree this, right? Strategic thinking. Ryan Care failed. So now Trump says, okay, Paul Ryan, imagine this. This is thinking. So now that Ryan Care failed, now that Ryan Care failed, Trump can say, all right, Ryan, you failed. You gave it your shot. Time to build the wall. Time to build the wall. Time to build the wall. Now Trump has leverage. Josh Byer wrote a hilarious article. I was just laughing at how dumb these people are. He calls himself an elitist, even though everything he got was from his daddy, which is hilarious. So there's this guy, Josh Barrow, whose husband actually takes bribes from the DNC, or they take money from the DNC, and then Josh Barrow was never too mean to the Democrats. You know, he's one of those people where if you want to compromise somebody, you just give their, just give their husband or their wife than big money contracts. And that's how you get people to kind of not be too aggressive. So Josh Barrow, who calls himself an elitist, writes an article saying Trump lost the Trump care because he's not a good negotiator. The idiot, this is why the blind, he doesn't even know the real negotiation. Unblock you on Twitter, please. No, I'm not. You probably annoyed me. A lot of people annoy me. The deal is the wall. So does Trump have more leverage today to get the wall built? True or false? The failure of Ryan Keir gives Trump more leverage to build the wall. Right? So that's what Barrow and all these little idiots, basic bitches we call them, even though they're, you know, men, basic bitches. They're like, oh yeah, Trump, no, 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 the, read the art of the deal. What is the real deal Trump wanted? The real deal Trump wanted is to build the wall. Trump did not run on repair, repeal Obamacare. And moreover, this bill did not repeal Obamacare. So you have to leave because you're stupid and you don't know why Trump got elected. So you have to, yes, he did. Okay, you have to go. You're blocked for stupidity. All right, everybody who thinks that that's what Trump ran on, you have to be blocked because you're too. How did the stupid people find this? Hold on, I got to delete some dumb people who are lowering, who are lowering the, um, the conversation. So I've got to block all these people. They're bringing, they're bringing the level of discussion down because they don't understand. You got, you know, you got to, can't be here. Can't be here. Trump ran building the wall. I went to Trump rallies. I've thrown Trump election parties. I threw the biggest event, inauguration with the deplorable. You know what people started to chant spontaneously? Lock her up, build the wall. Lock her up, build the wall. The people aren't chanting, repeal and replace. The people aren't chanting, lower corporate tax rates. The people aren't replacing any of that bullshit. Lock her up, build the wall. That's what gets people wired up. Lock her up, build the wall, make Mexico pay for it. So if you don't know this kind of stuff, don't argue with me. Because you don't know what is even going on. Reality. You're telling me, because you're a basic bitch, you're telling me what the media is telling you Trump ran on. You want to know the difference between me and the basic bitches that I have to block who claims that Trump ran on repeal and replace and who ran on corporate tax rate? You are a basic bitch because you're repeating what the media told you. Do you understand that? You're not telling me what people talked about at Trump rallies or what Trump supporters talked about, or what I talked about. You are talking about what the media told you he ran on, right? 
It's pathetic. You can't be here. You're basic, bitch. Go read CNN. Go read Washington Post. Go read New York Times, Boston Globe. You're not ready for Cernovich Media. You're not ready for Cernovich Media. You can't handle real, unfiltered truth. Trump ran, build the wall, build the wall, lock her up. Build the wall, lock her up. Make Mexico pay for it. Didn't, didn't run on corporate tax rates. Didn't run on this Orion Care stuff. All right? So you gotta, you gotta elevate your game if you wanna be here. Here's what I tell people. I love human, humanity. I love helping people. I love people. You have to come to my level though. Don't bring me down to your level which is the level of the fake news media, the basic bitch coverage, right? You gotta come to my level, which is to go to rallies, talk to people, don't even, don't even take my word for it. Go to the Trump rallies and talk to people and watch what people are excited about. Do it yourself, your own mindset. Go talk to the people. And you know what you're gonna find out? Build the wall, lock her up, build the wall, make Mexico pay to it, pay for it. It's all the reality. Will Trump lock up Hillary? I don't know. He should lock up Soros. So Trump needs to go back to his roots. I have a great article at Danger Play called Go Back to Basics. When in doubt, when your life, when your life seems to be going in a different direction. Back to basics. What are the basics of the Trump campaign? What are the basics of the Trump campaign? Build the wall, make Mexico pay it, lock her up, big Trump rallies, big people excited for making America make great again, make America wealthy again, make America safe again. This corporate tax rate bullshit, nonsense. This Ryan Care thing, big, bad, terrible thing, great way to lose. Great way to lose is with the Ryan Care. So Trump now has leverage to build the wall. And what a lot of you people don't know because we haven't talked about, in trade, yeah. What a lot of people don't know because we haven't talked about it in a while, and the media never talks about it is, when there's another terrorist attack in America, who is going to be blamed for the terrorist attack? This is something actually, this is going to blow a lot of minds of people maybe who are new, you know, new to me and new to Center Rich Media. If there is a, when there is another terrorist attack in America, who is going to get blamed? Right. Deep state, the judiciary, liberal activist organizations, Chuck Schumer, the resistance, Evan McMuffin, Right. Think about that for a minute. This is where people can't even think because they don't do a de de decision tree. A lot of people, maybe I'll do a lecture on decision trees and how to be a more strategic thinker and, and how to be a visionary and think the way I think and really understand what's going on rather than reacting to one little news snippet. So when the next terrorist attack happens, that's when the wall gets built, right? When the next terrorist ha attack happens, then you say, okay, we got to build a wall. And then he's going to steamroll, going to steamroll, going to steamroll Paul Ryan, going to steamroll Evan McMuffin, going to steamroll Mitt Romney, going to steamroll the Democrats, the resistance groups and everything. So you'll see, you'll see, you'll, like everything else I said, this is what is going to happen. This is what is going to happen and then people will see what's going to happen. But most don't get it. Most don't get it. Anyway. I'm going to go. I got a Patreon call tonight. Exclusive Patreon call tonight. But only for my Patreons. I don't, I don't promote, it, promote it that much because I don't need, need that much money. But I am patreon.com forward slash Mike Cernovich. P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com forward slash Mike Cernovich. We're funding great media. We got a documentary on Sweden, the final cut that we're going to release today. That's patreon.com forward slash Mike Cernovich. And tonight I'm going to have a Patreon call. 
We're going to talk about a lot of things going on. Thanks for tuning in. You don't have, you don't have to be a Patreon. The Patreon I use to fund journalism. So if you want to see more original journalism, then you support my Patreon and I hire people to do great stuff. But if you just want to watch Periscope, that's cool too. There's no poverty plea. But it's P-A-T-R-E-O-N. Patreon. Like your Patron. P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com forward slash Mike Cernovich. P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com forward slash Mike Cernovich. Thanks for tuning in. Patreon. Yep. Thanks, Rob. Patreon.com forward slash Mike Cernovich. P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com forward slash Mike Cernovich. And that is how you can fund journalism. Talk to you soon.